Today, scripts in Windows are mostly written in PowerShell, but a batch file is still a possible option for simple tasks. Especially when copying folders or simply starting executables with certain parameters, a batch file is maybe the easier choice. Hello and welcome, of course, also to my website script-example.com. Batch files use the commands of the command prompt. The command prompt can be started with the cmd command. The command help prints a list of all commands. The list is of course not complete since any executable can be started from the command prompt. Batch files are nothing else than text files in which the commands are written, line by line. In the text file I first write the command echo. Echo just prints a text. The command pause waits for any key to be pressed. Windows expects the file extension .cmd for a batch file. I put the file name in quotes because otherwise Windows would append a .txt to the file name. With a double click we can start the batch file. As output we always get the command line. With the command at echo off this can be suppressed. If we start the batch file again, only the specified text will be written, here the text, hello. In batch files it is also possible to jump from one position to another. For this we use a jump mark with a colon. I call it start. With the command go to it is possible to jump to the jump mark. I start the file again. When pressing any key, the batch file will jump to start again and again. As mentioned at the beginning, batch files can start any executable file. For a variety of files it is possible to pass certain parameters to it. For example, the VLC player can be installed completely in the background using parameters. Since the setup makes a change on the computer, the user account control of Windows asks for an approval. To bypass user account control when running the file, the command prompt can be started as an administrator. The VLC setup will not be displayed when using the parameters and VLC will be installed without further prompting. Batch files can thus be used to automate simple procedures such as installing certain programs, setting certain preferences, or transferring files. For more details and additional articles visit my website script-example.com, subscribe to this channel for more and leave me a thumb. Thank you and see you next time.